Hello and welcome back to another video. This equation, we have w divided by n is equal to 5t minus 3. And we're asked which of the following equations expresses n in terms of w and t. So what we want to do is we want to take this equation and we want to isolate n and set it equal to everything else. So we have over here is one fraction is equal to another fraction. And it might not seem like that at first because this doesn't look like a fraction. You have to remember that everything is always divided by one. And this is going to make our job a little bit easier because rather than trying to get set this to two fractions where they have the same denominator, we're just going to cross multiply. It saves a lot of time. And so we're going to use this one as the denominator so that we can cross multiply with the w. So we have one, make that a little bit clearer that it's a one, times w is equal to cross multiply the other two, n times 5t minus 3. This is going to be a lot easier to solve than this. So 1 times w is just w. You have 5nt. Multiplying these, distributing that value n, minus 3 times n is just 3n. Um, actually, uh, sort of an unnecessary step. I'll actually get rid of that because that takes us further away from our answer. Um, we actually already have, we want to isolate the n, so if we just multiply 1 by w and then don't change this, you'll see why I'm doing that. Um, we want to get n on its own, so rather than distribute it out and get it messed up in all these two like different terms, let's just divide both sides by 5t minus 3. Because over here, we'll cancel and then we'll get n on its own, which is what we were looking for. On the other side, we have w over 5t minus 3. And this is actually giving our answer. Uh, option d is what lines up with this. It's actually reversed, but obviously that doesn't matter. And d is going to be your final answer. hope this was helpful. You can see where maybe you're trying to solve this and it doesn't go in a helpful direction. You can take a step back and say, okay, well, actually, this was distributing this n wasn't helpful, so let's get rid of that. And okay, now we can divide by 5t minus 3 and we'll get it a lot simpler. But anyways, as always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.